First tab is pretty much just to write some notes, keywords, or maybe a rating for your design overall. The following tab is for your complex fill, whether if you wanted to change the pattern type or maybe the density. And then we have the underlay. So if you're not so familiar what an underlay is, underlay is pretty much the support that is stitched out before your stitch type. So let's select this portion and then head back to the underlay. Now, in this case, the underlay that is selected for that portion is a perpendicular. So look at over here in this image of how the perpendicular is. It's kind of like in a chisel shape. Now, you do have the opportunity to change how the underlay looks. Let's say I wanted to add a contour as well. Changes or maybe remove the underlay. This is how it looks like. Now, the ones that are faded that you're unable to click on are for another stitch type. In this case, these are for your classic satin. Then we have the push and pull compensation. This is pretty much depending on the material that you are embroidering on, your column. Now, some of these, if you have Inspire, you might not have access to, for example, your general blend. And then something that we all have is our commands. So in your commands tab, here is another opportunity for you to select your colors. So rather than just right clicking on a color chip over here, you can remove the numbers and type in the color chip that you want to use. So I want to change it back to color chip number 21, type 21, hit apply, and now it's back. Now we have our start command and our end command. These are pretty much commands that you want to set for your design. Start command is pretty much the command that's going to happen in the very beginning of your design. Whether if you wanted to stop, jump, frame out, frame in. Over here, you can set the command for that. Now, something that's usually very common is the end command being a trim. So if we head back to my example of the different stitch types, for my complex fill, you see this little line connecting both of the designs. This line is a tail. Now to completely avoid this tail, you will select the root, head to your commands, and change the end command to trim. Hit apply, and now it's gone. And then lastly, from the commands, we have the transformation tab. So the transformation tab is what you would use to change the sizing of your design. Very, very important. Make sure you highlight the whole design. If you accidentally only highlight a portion, that's the only thing that's gonna change. So you highlight the whole design, you can make your way to your transform tab, and then from there you can adjust the sizing of your design.